static versus dynamic modeling. So it's important to understand that what some of these models are are static models, what some of them are dynamic models. Um, it can be very difficult to model larger buildings with static models because it, once again, not only does it smear out the data, it also smears out the heat loss, heat gain. So it looks at the entire building and it says, oh, you've got a balanced building. It looks really great. But in reality, if that building's large, well, on the southern side, people might be cooking. On the northern side, they might be really freezing. You've got to look at the areas within to start to really get to it. And a lot of modelers who haven't done this don't understand that. They enter the whole building and they say, oh, it looks great. And really, they've created an uncomfortable building. We need a mentoring program for people who are beginning to do this so that they start to learn it. So we get a lot of people trained and then get experience. You know, because you once you learn the software and you get your, your first, like, letters behind your name, you haven't really done it ever before, you've got just enough to be really dangerous, right? You need someone to kind of help you through it. Experienced modelers are a must for larger buildings. This is absolutely imperative. Dynamic modeling is based on hourly data, but it's actually analyzed dynamically over hour to hour to hour. Much more accurate, much more difficult to master the software. I mean, if you think the static stuff is hard, dynamic modeling has got way more buttons and knobs, way more things to click on. I was talking to somebody yesterday. She had this massive overheating problem. She couldn't figure it out. And, and then one of the trainers was looking through her model and she said, oh, well, your clo was set to zero and your mets were set to five. So what basically that means is that they had naked people running around doing exercise in the building. Right? So, I mean, it's, it's, like, it's like, you know, okay, that's a little tab, 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 sub tab, 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 down to what, but somebody had clicked on the little button there and, you know, it's like, ah. So the thing about dynamic data, it creates very precise models. And once again, you need to be very experienced to even interpret these models because this data is all over the place. I mean, it is hard to interpret. So having experienced people help you through this is important. Lots of shiny buttons and knobs and exterior experienced modelers are a must.